Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. We're going to pick up the Sermon on the Mount, which we parked for a couple of months, but I want to get back into that because there's some really great meat and gravy stuff about discipleship as Jesus taught about the Holy Habitus that he intended his disciples to adopt. And uh, we might remember we, we left off halfway through Jesus' teaching on murder and anger in chapter 5, verses 21 following. And Jesus is there making a point that he's making throughout that first block of teaching that the law might sort of stipulate certain external actions, so do not murder, but actually we can we can stop there, like the Pharisees did, and congratulate ourselves for not ever stabbing someone or whatever, when in actual fact the root cause of murder or violence, which is anger in the heart or hatred in the heart, has not been dealt with. And Jesus says, no, we got to tackle that. That's really important. And Jesus goes on, uh, we're going to look at that today, and with some teachings about reconciliation and, and dealing with this sort of heart stuff, this uh, relationship breakdown. And he says in verse 23, Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, first go and be reconciled with your brother or sister, then come and offer your gift. Settle matters quickly with your adversary is taking you to court. Do it while you are still with him on the way. Or he may hand you over to the judge, and the judge may hand you over to the officer, and you may be thrown into prison. And I'll tell you the truth, you'll not get out until you've paid the last penny. That's the teaching of Jesus on this, this topic. It's, it's stern stuff. It's got consequences. He says you could end up in jail, prison. And there are hellish dimensions to um, these sometimes simple issues of the heart and relationships. And Jesus starts by saying, if you come to worship God, don't, you know, it's easy to be hypocritical. But there often, as we begin to encounter the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit might bring to remembrance the fact that, that our horizontal relationships aren't quite right. And actually, for that vertical relationship with God, as it were, to be correct and truthful and honest, and we need to make sure we are, we are dealing with and tackling with those issues of uh, resentment, anger, unforgiveness, broken relationships horizontally. We need to go and do what we can before we carry on with our worship. Leave it there. Uh, and I know that sometimes it's not always possible. We've done everything in our power to reconcile and, uh, and we have to make our peace with that. But sometimes there are things that we can do and we need to go and do those. Otherwise, as Jesus says, it sets in motion that chain reaction of judgment, judge, officer, prison. That ultimately, we end up becoming prisoners of our own stubbornness, anger, resentment, self-justification, bitterness. And, and we need to do something with that. So this week, the challenge is, who is the Holy Spirit prompting you to, to, to work out a relationship problem with it? It might not be a big thing. It might be a, a little niggling problem. But what can you do this week to make that right?